Hey guys, thanks for joining me today. April was a busy month for us. We spent a lot of time outside celebrating Easter, Earth Day, and just the beautiful weather. I captured a very small amount of our adventure and I hope you enjoy it. Like, subscribe, and comment below. Let me know how April was for you. I create educational activities for my kids and other kids. Here's a nature walk scavenger hunt I made. You can have it for free. I will add the link below. As a special education teacher, I learned how to differentiate learning lessons to meet the needs of each of my students. Here are some examples of how you can change the level of difficulty within an activity. This is such a great angle right now. I cleaned today. Did lots of vacuuming and it was not just like regular vacuuming, but all around the edges of the house. So when you have two little ones and your home is kind of like a daycare because you're also a teacher, you just clean every day. It's a good feeling though, it really is. Okay, I had to create a schedule for myself so I wasn't cleaning constantly every day. Anyway, today was vacuum day and I'm done. So now I get to take a little me time. One of my daughters is napping and the other one is, during, is doing rest time, so this is my time to get work done or and or create.
I'm not one to really discuss sad topics, but I'll be honest, April's a hard month for me. Before my two daughters, we had a miscarriage in April. And every year, I think of ways I can honor that little one. This year, I finally found one way to do that. If you've ever experienced a miscarriage or know someone who has, I send my love and hope, you know, you're not alone. It's sad and it's okay to be sad. I hope this brings you some ideas on how you can celebrate that life. that dirt. Zoe, do you want to use your other hand since you're right-handed? That might be easier. Wow. We're going to plant some flowers. Does anybody else do this? I'm pretty sure it's supposed to help turtles and other sea life. Comment below to let me know if you do this too or what your thoughts are on it. I've been teaching my oldest about recycling and taking care of our earth. One of the activities I made with my oldest included sorting objects and placing them in a recycling bin or trash can. That's also in the link below if you're looking for some fun learning activities. So beautiful. Let's look at the pet flowers. Wow. 
It's a good source of fiber. The skin? Yeah. Emo, walk forward. Yeah. Oh, he's walking. Wow. Oh, he said hi there. Nice to meet you. Totoro. Oh, that's what she said. Is that Totoro? Oh, hello again. It's me. We decided to visit this park that I went to as a kid. It was my favorite and they actually redid it. It's kind of fun being able to take my little kids to it now, but it's cooler than before. Way cooler. It, it's even sectioned off so little ones can roam without being destroyed by older children. I would highly recommend And that is a wrap of this lovely vlog. I really had fun making this. It's one of those videos that makes me feel grateful to have the loved ones around that I have. Thank you so much for watching this all the way through. Liking, commenting, and subscribing are all easy ways to support my videos. And if you're interested in any of the items I mentioned, there are links below. So I will see you next time or you will see me next time. Bye.